Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, brothers and sisters of this world. Today, I'm going to be preaching on the topic. There are two types of fasting. One going to be coming from the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verses 16 to 18. And the other going to be coming from the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verses 3 to 9. But I'm going to start with Matthew first. And the reading does... And when God, when you fast, and when you fast, do not put on surfaces or surface as the hypocrite do. They neglect their appearance so that everyone will see that they are fasting. I assure you, they have already been paid in full. 17. When you go with all food, Wash your face and comb your hair. 18. So that others cannot know that you are fasting. Only your father, who is unseen, will know. And you and your father, who sees what you do in private, will reward you. Hallelujah. So, this is what is going on right now. There are a group of people around the world. I don't have to tell you who are they. Use your own spiritual judgment. You're going to know. When, they, when these people are fasting, you're going to know. Oh, yeah, they're going to be spitting all around. You, their appearance alone would going to make you to know that they are fasting. So God saying that the rules and regulation of the spiritual fasting for you to know the rules of fasting for God to answer you quickly. Do this thing that God do not want you to put on sad faces for people to notice that you are fasting. No. The Bible says, God said that not too long in uh, the scripture reading there, comb your hair, you know, take a shower, comb your hair, look good. For people not to notice. And your father who see your fasting in private will reward you. Do not make people to take notice. For everybody to know that you are fasting. And you're going to put on that surface. In your appearance alone when people see it, they're going to know that you're fasting. Because he did not want that. Then let us go to the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 58. Isaiah 58. Let's start from verse 3. So these people in God, oh yeah, they were arguing big time. They were arguing. They were arguing with God. So they, they said, God, Isaiah 58, let's start from verse 3. God, when we're fasting, you do not pay attention to us. And we go with all food. You do not even pay notice. You don't even care about they, you know, uh, 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 how, what, what, what we're saying or what we're doing. God said, what are you people talking about? You know, God knows everything. God will see everything. So God look at them for long. God said, what are these people talking about? He say, oh, uh, God said, okay. All right, I, I understand. But let me tell you people the truth right now. When you people are fasting, you pursue your own interests. You oppress others. And is that why you call fasting? God will get the angry now with them. God said, you know why? All this thing that you're doing, you're going, you're suffering yourself. You cut your, you know, you, you lower your hair like, you know, like when, you, when someone is cutting the grass. You lay, you know, you lay down in sackcloth. You know, you, you know, you go with all food. And at the same time, you oppress the poor people. And you, they, they, and you carry on all kind of, you know, clandestine act. You quarrel, you fight, and you have sorts of violence. God said, why will you be fasting and be doing such a things? God's getting angry. 
So God said, let me tell you people today. Is that what you call fasting? Is that, you think what you're doing right now, laying that in sackcloth, you cut your hair, ball, you know, put on, you know, you, you, you go with all food, you think now, that's why, and you further on, you, you, then you oppress it so on. Right now, somebody is working for you, you carry, you, you, you loosen that chain or that yoke of injustice. Put that away. No violence. No quarry, no fighting. Put that away before you fast. God said, first of all, is that, is that kind of a fasting that you're doing? You think I will be pleased? You think I will listen to your prayers? I will not. And God turned around to tell and say, first, remove the chain of oppression. And break the yoke of injustice. It set the oppressed free. Share your food with the, the hungry. Open your home to the homeless. God said, oh, you know why? Give clothes to those who do not have clothes. And do not refuse to help your relatives, your blood relatives. Then God said, oh, in verse 8, then you will find favor. I will shine on you like the morning sun. Can you imagine? It's in the morning. Then the sun shining. That's a blessing God going to put upon you. Okay. Then God said, if you are wounded, your wound will be healed speedily. If you if you are bearing, oh, you can't get any child. I break it down. You can't get any child. You can't have it. Have, they say, oh yeah, she never had baby. Oh, she came born. Something happened to her. Oh yeah, somebody put cuss on her. Somebody did this to her. She can't have any child. I tell you, the Bible says through the Holy Spirit right now upon me. If you do these things, then God said speedily. Your womb will be fed. You will have a child. Your womb will be healed. Hallelujah. It's God who's saying it. I'm telling you. So if you do these things, then God said, I will always be with you to save you. My, you know, God said, I will protect you. Everywhere, every left side, your right side, I will protect you everywhere you go. Left side, right side, front side, back side. I will protect you. You say, when you pray to me, I will answer you speedily. Are you, can you imagine if God gave you the blessed assurance? I don't know the other pastors, what, are they being held in the scripture? Isaiah 58, verse 3 to 9. If you go to, you know, go to 10 and, uh, and you're going to say, God's going to co co continue to repeat it. If you do this thing there, put away the, the chain of injustice, put away, you know, injustice, put away oppression, you know, give food to the hungry. Or do not, do not forget to share your home with the homeless. You know, and do not forget to, you know, bless your, your blood relatives. God said, if you do these things then, you say you will shine the money sun. Your womb, if you get wounded or whatsoever, speedily, if you're in the hospital, boop, if you can't get child, boop, you, God, God said it, not me. God said it. God said it. So my brother and my sister, do two fasting, good for us to do. But Isaiah 58 is the greatest. I tried a long time ago. I'm talking from the experience. Every one of them are good. All two of them, they are good. But Isaiah 58, oh my goodness, is the best. Speedily, God will answer you. I leave the message with you. May God richly bless you.
May this message go deep down in your heart. And remember to do what the scripture says. May God bless you. And I'll talk to you again. Bye-bye. In Jesus' name.